Hello guys, my name is Spider Guy, and today we're going to be talking about the Revoker Pinnacle Sniper. So, a new season has begun in Destiny 2, Season of Opulence, and with it has come three new Pinnacle weapons, each for the Vanguard, Gambit, and Crucible. The Crucible Pinnacle reward, the Revoker, is what we're going to be talking about today. First up, we will be talking about the quest to obtain the Revoker Pinnacle Sniper Rifle. So, this quest requires you get 300 sniper rifle kills, 50 precision sniper kills, and earn 3500 glory. Keep in mind, this is gross glory, so losing games will not set you back. It will definitely go faster than a team, but it is totally soloable. I did the quest mostly solo, and also sniper rifle kills in competitive will grant you double progress. The sniper rifles that I would recommend are the Bite of the Fox, the Iznagi's Burden, the Twilight Oath, and the Beloved. Next, we will talk about the weapon's function and perks. So, the perks on the weapon are extended barrel, plus 10 range, plus 10 recoil direction, and a minus 10 to handling, accurized rounds, plus 10 to range, snapshot sights, a faster aim down sights time, and reversal of fortune, missed shots return to the magazine after 2 seconds, timer resets if another shot is taken. The stats are a 90 impact, 80 range, 34 stability, 30 handling, and a 37 reload speed. The hidden stats include 44 aim assist, 72 recoil direction, 45 weapon size, which is the reserve ammo capacity, and 35 zoom, which is tied with Twilight Oath for the lowest zoom scope in the game. Bungie also described this weapon as having a custom ambush scope that is lower zoom than the other ambush scopes on weapons such as the Aachen. Next, I will talk about how to optimize the Revoker. So, I would obviously recommend targeting perks, such as enhanced sniper rifle targeting for controller users due to the low aim assist stat. I would also recommend running enhanced sniper rifle dexterity, or if you cannot get that, sniper rifle dexterity, because of the low handling speed, which is tied to how fast you can pull the weapon out of your holster. Having double scavenger perks is not necessary due to the pinnacle weapon's perk. I would also recommend sniper unflinching aim, obviously, because why wouldn't you run it on a sniper? I would also recommend a targeting adjuster for controller users, again, due to the low aim assist, and an Icarus mod for mouse and keyboard users, though you can still benefit from a targeting adjuster mod on M and K. Next, I will talk about my opinion on the weapon. First, I will discuss the pros of this weapon. The perk reversal of fortune gr basically grants ammo insurance. I would like to note that this does not reward bad aim, it is just adding an extra forgiveness factor. It also has a fast aim down sights speed and is a very low zoom scope. Now onto the cons. It feels sluggish even with snapshot, it only has three in the mag, and if you hit your shots you won't be able to take much advantage of this perk. This weapon is quickly becoming one of my favorite snipers in the game. You can attempt some fun things like jump shots, no scopes, whatever, due to the refunding of your ammo if you don't miss. That's why I put an Icarus mod on mine. Though I do wish it had more of a wow factor, such as Perfectionist from Destiny 1 combined with Reversal of Fortune, and then maxing out the handling and granting Fluted Barrel instead of Extended. Another cool option would have been granting a perk that allows it for increased damage to supers. Allowing for super shutdowns with headshots would have people clamoring for this weapon, as there are currently only three snipers capable of shutting down supers. Those are the Izanagi's Burden with Honed Edge times 2 and either the Tatara Gaze or Beloved with Box Breathing. It would have also been nice to have this in either the Adaptive or Rapid Fire Frame archetype of snipers. I feel like the rate of fire of this sniper would throw some people off. Again, the low magazine capacity doesn't allow for great multi-kill potential even with a backup mag mod. I feel as though quick draw would work better than snapshot as quick draw would max out the handling speed and allow you to pull the weapon out faster. This marks the end of the video. If you enjoyed or found it resourceful, please feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. Or don't, your viewership is plenty for me. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day.